Welcome, 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 y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Texas Boxing Scene. It is uh, good to be back. Uh, we're going to have a quick show today. Um, it's my mom's birthday, September 5th. Um, but let's get into uh, today's show. It's going to be a recap of, of, of the main event, uh, King Kong Ortiz. Uh, Andy Ruiz, unanimous decisions, uh, King Kong Ortiz. In a, Besides the knockdowns, I would say it was not a highly entertaining fight. But uh, before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day. Uh, 8 to 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other uh, channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's very near and dear uh, to our heart. All right. Um, I want to get into, first off, it was a really good weekend of boxing between the uh, Estrada Cortez fight, now uh, King Kong Ortiz and Andy Rees, um, uh, the, the, the uh, light flyweight bout too. A really good weekend of boxing. Um, Flores and Mores was a great fight. Um, you knew that couldn't disappoint. But uh, let's get into the main event, right? Because the heavyweight division, I thought it, we, were, we were past that era. Um, you know, I thought we were going to, you know, the big three, Joshua Fury and Wilder. I thought, you know, we might be, uh, and, and Usyk, too, who's 35. You know, that those days were just about over, and we're going to start looking to a new breed of heavyweights. I don't think so. Um, you know, I was excited, honestly, to um, see Wilder back in the ring. Um, we, we, he's got Helenius coming up, and then it's going to be interesting. Let, let's say, let's assume, for the sake of conversation, Wilder's not washed. Okay, let's say Wilder's still got plenty left in the tank, and he disposes of Helenius like he should. What, what's next for him? You remember, and Usyk is a... Uh, promotional free agent, more or less, right? Like, he promotes himself. He can fight anyone. He could fight Wilder. Again, I, I don't know what happens with Fury. I don't know what happens with Fury. I don't I don't, I don't. don't know, right? Is he going to fight again? I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm not going to guess what Fury is going to do. It's not in my purview, right? So, whatever. Um. I think the possibility of a Ruiz Wilder fight next is real. And that is a really intriguing fight. Now, could it be for the WBC belt? I don't know. You know what? That depends on Wilder. I mean, that depends on Fury. Does Fury come back? Does he, whatever. You know, if he does come back and Usyk beats him, does Usyk retire? If Fury wins, does Fury beat Usyk and then retire? That belt could be vacant. It might not be. I don't know. Um, does Ruiz. Risk it if, it if it's not right. If 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 Usyk and Fury fights and a Wilder fight wouldn't be for a, a, a world title, does Ruiz still take it? I think Wilder still takes it because Wilder's confident he can win. Uh, but would Ruiz take it? Because Ruiz is in the catbird seat here. He's he, he's the interim champ, right? Should that uh, belt get vacated? It's his belt. Should they call the mandatory? It's going to be Ruiz who gets the, who gets the call, so it's a lot riskier for Ruiz to take that fight. But I, I thought Ruiz looked really good today. Um, I, I think he's still a major, major, major player in the heavyweight division. I really do. I, I think um, his speed is still there. He he boxed beautifully. I thought he was going to be in and out on Ortiz Ortiz's reach. He, you know, he's going to try to double up on the jab, get inside, use his speed, and just. He really outboxed him. He wasn't as aggressive, and I and I liked what he did. Did you guys think it was as close as the judges had it, right? Because without the three knockdowns, I'm not saying they all were illegitimate, right? That's a that's a draw. The, the judges, two of the judges had it 
six rounds to six with three knockdowns, and the other had seven five Ortiz. Did, did y'all see it that way? I, I, I thought Ruiz probably won seven. Uh, Ruiz probably won seven eight rounds. I, I was high. It was a good you know competitive fight. I'm not saying I thought Ruiz steamrolled him. I was just surprised the judges had it as close as they did. So I'm interested in seeing those at home scorecards. What, what did y'all have? See what you know media had. Uh, did you guys have it as close as the judges did? I, I thought Ruiz won wide, you know, given the knockdowns. I, I thought he won seven or eight rounds. You know, but I thought he won eight rounds. So it was eight to four. And, and the judges had a, quite a bit closer than the two of them did. One had a little bit closer. Uh, so I'm just interested. Like, did y'all have it that close? But I, I was really, really impressed with, with, with Andy Ruiz. And it's frustrating because, you know, Usyk and Fury, I think, could beat Ruiz. But they could be gone. If they do leave, I, I truly believe Ruiz could beat. Not that he definitely would. We, we know that he can beat Joshua because he destroyed Joshua. Now, he can show up out of shape and lose to Joshua, too. That, that's a possibility. But I, I think with his speed, he could give Wilder a lot of trouble. I think he could give guys like Joe Joyce way more trouble than he can handle, right? Um, I think he could he could do a lot of – I think he could beat pretty much everyone in that weight class. not saying he necessarily would, but he has the ability to. I wouldn't be surprised if he beat anyone in that division outside of Usyk and Fury, who I think are gone. So I, I'm high on this performance. I was surprised a little bit, pleasant, you know, on how Ruiz decided to fight him. He fought off the back foot a lot. He boxed him at range. And he can do that. I, I just thought that, like, that's kind of fighting into King Kong's game plan. Like, that's fighting into his strength and then eventually fighting into his left hand. Um, but I, I thought Ruiz did it at a really high level. Uh, I thought that was, you know, again, it's not the most exciting fight. It wasn't a barn burn. It's not a fight of the year. We didn't get the spectacular knockout. But I thought you got a good performance from Ruiz, especially given the, the kind of lackluster performance in his last album. I kind of left people ho hum, right? And, and, and I've always been high on him. I was high. I, I'm gonna be honest. You can go back three boxes back read the audio. I did not pick him to beat Joshua, but I said this was better than the Miller fight because remember Jerome Miller was supposed to have that fight. He tested positive for all types of steroids and whatnot. Um, and then Ruiz got the fight. And I said it's better that Ruiz is in this fight. Right? This is a good replacement. It's better than the original, uh, and he's going to make the fight competitive. I didn't pick him to beat Joshua, um, but I've always liked him. I thought he had good skills. I thought he was was fundamentally sound, and I thought he had good speed, and he had enough pop where he could and, – and, and, and I think he, he's showing that, right? And, you know, I I, I think this that, that that ship has sailed for Ortiz getting a heavyweight title, but I certainly think Ruiz could win it back win a world title, a, a one of the four major belts, he could win it back at some point. Um, the skills and the speed are there. And like I said, he's got enough pop. So um, I, I thought it was encouraging. If you're an Andy Ruiz fan, I, I think he's a major player in this division. I think he showed a wrinkle in his game that he could outbox basically any heavyweight. Again, minus Fury and Usyk. Um, and if those two guys aren't around, I think Ruiz has an excellent chance to be the top dog in this division. Um, and I'm really, really, really interested in seeing a Ruiz and Wilder fight. You guys, let's, let, let, let's, because again, I think Wilder could knock Ruiz out, but I also think Ruiz could survive and give Wilder a lot of trouble with his speed. So, I mean, what do y'all think? I mean, do you guys think um, Ruiz has a real chance in this fight, or do you guys think Wilder will watch? But I'll, I'll wait, let's wait till the Wilder fight. And let's make a decision from there. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go from go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 5th now, uh, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.